Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating dummy variables using SPSS. So I have here fictitious data in the data view of SPSS, and I have two variables, level of care, and I have three levels to this variable, outpatient, day treatment, and inpatient, and then I have a salary. So let's say that we are running a substance use training program and we're looking at where the graduates work right they can work in an outpatient setting a day treatment setting or an inpatient setting for this example so you have these three options and then you have the various salaries now this data can be analyzed in the form it is now it's coded level of care one two and three for outpatient day treatment and inpatient but if you want to run a linear regression, you can't do that with the way this, these data are formatted because you have three levels of the independent variable. So what we have to do to adjust for this is what's called dummy coding. So we need to dummy code the level of care variable into separate variables that contain either a zero or one. So to start with the dummy coding, we're first going to go to transform. And then we want to recode into different variables. So we want to create new variables here. We do not want to overwrite the level of care variable. We want to create new variables from it. So it's recode into different variables. And you can see we have a list box here for input variable to output variable. And we're going to use this nominal variable level of care. And it is nominal because one level of care can't be quantified as better than the other. It's just different. There's just three different levels of care. So it's not an ordinal variable. It's a nominal variable. So let's name level of care for our first example here. And we're going to want to name this outpatient because that's the first level. And I'm just going to copy and paste that down here, so control C and then control V, um, to have the label match. And I'm going to make sure I click change. So you see level of care to outpatient. And then we want to look at old and new values. So what we want to do here is we want to convert the value of 1, which would be outpatient, into a new value. And in these dummy coded variables, a one is going to represent that specific level, right? In this case, outpatient. And a zero is going to represent that it's not that level. So in this case, if the value is one and it is outpatient, we want the value to be one. So one will move to one. And then we go down to all other values and we make them equal to zero. And make sure we add that on. So one will remain one, and all others, meaning two or three, will be changed to zero. The one represents outpatient level of care, and the zero represents not outpatient level of care. Click Continue, and then OK. And we can see that outpatient is now coded one, and not outpatient, meaning day treatment and inpatient, in this example, they are left at zero. So for day treatment, we'll go to transform and recode in different variables. We'll click here so we can change the name. So we'll just change this to day treatment. Again, I'm just going to copy paste this here. Now I'm going to take the space out for name. I don't like there to be a space. So it's just going to be day treatment. Put the label, I'll leave the space. And I'm going to click change. Now you can see level of care is being changed to day treatment. And we move to the old new values again. Now we can reuse this else, but I'm going to remove uh, both of these just to show you how this is done from the beginning for this variable. So we know day treatment's value is 2, and we know in this variable 
day treatments value one to equal one, meaning there is day treatment. So two will go to one, and all other values, meaning outpatient and inpatient, will equal zero. We'll add that. So day treatment will move to one, all other values to zero. The one tells us the level of treatment is day treatment, and the zero tells us that it's not day treatment. Click continue and OK. And you can see zeros for outpatient and then one for day treatment and zeros for inpatient. And then for our last variable, and click here, and this is going to be inpatient. And I'll make that the label as well. Click change and look at the old new values. Again, we could retain this, but I want to show you uh, how to do it from the beginning. So we know that the value 3 is equal to inpatient, and this new variable, the 1 will represent inpatient, and the 0, the zero will represent not inpatient. So we want a 1 here. So the 3 now moves to 1, and all other values other than the 3 move to 0. So else moves to 0. Click Continue and OK. And now looking back, we can see that for outpatient, of course, in the inpatient variable, uh, that's 0. For day treatment, that's 0. But down here for inpatient, that's a 1. So if we, we have split level of care, which is a nominal variable at three levels, into three separate variables that either contain a 0 or a 1 the one indicating that it matches that particular level of care that's named in the variable, outpatient, day treatment, inpatient, and the zero representing that it is not that level of care. So the data as it's formatted now could be used in a multiple regression. I hope you found this video on dummy coding variables in SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.